Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Teaching students about air isn't easy. How can you measure it? How can you measure greenhouse gases? And what about reassessing the ways in which we use other natural elements like fire and water? We find out how young people are making the best use of nature's gifts. Many countries are trying to decrease greenhouse gas emissions as part of their response to climate change. In Chile, they are hoping that renewable energy will help cut air pollution. They are also helping young people develop the very best eco-friendly practices. Let's see how some universities are doing it. Here in Chile, near Santiago, at the Adolfo Ibanez University, these industrial and civil engineering students are designing an eco-friendly balloon. It all starts with waste bags. We want to use the fact that air is essentially a fluid. It exists and it makes the balloon fly rather than staying on the ground. What this exercise does is make us put into practice the theoretical knowledge that we've learned at university, like Archimedes' principles and our knowledge of pressure. The idea is to make a balloon that can fly and carry five kilos. To be counted as successful, the balloon has to travel a distance of 10 meters. Having a sound knowledge of thermodynamics is essential. And, of course, all the balloons have to be eco-friendly. Generally, the more expensive the materials are, the more carbon dioxide they emit. But it's hard for the students to calculate the cost of materials. But they can calculate operating costs and carbon emissions while the balloon is in the air. Recycled kite surfing materials, recycled bin bags, all sorts of things can be used. Using a hairdryer to inflate the balloons makes things quicker. But using methane gas is more eco-friendly. And in the end, some balloons fly and some of them don't. Sellotape and bin bags deteriorate as the temperature rises inside the balloon. Air pressure is very strong, although because we live with it, we don't notice. But the force is incredible. The fact that the balloon rose proves that we built it correctly. All of which means that although flying balloons might look like hot air, it's a great way to train tomorrow's environmentally friendly engineers. But not all of nature's elements are friendly. Take fires which can be extremely destructive. My mother's firm refusal to let me play with matches as a child probably saved our house from burning down several times. So how can we teach children to prevent fires or put them out without taking risks? The New York Fire Department is known all over the world for their firefighting skills. But a large part of their work is in fact fire prevention and raising awareness through their fire safety programs. The education is basically how to be safe in fires. We always talk about the three P's, prevent, practice and prepare. So we try to prevent a fire, we uh, prepare for it, and we always practice our plan. The school's program runs all year round. Every week, 45 fire safety educators go into around 15 schools all over the city to give lectures and run safety training programs. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. My name is Firefighter Bruce. Say Firefighter Bruce. Firefighter Bruce. Say Firefighter Bruce again. Firefighter Bruce. Who wants to learn about fire safety? Raise your hand. Good, good, good. I like that. Can you tell me what a fire drill is? Yes, young man. Stand up nice and loud so I can hear you. So that when there's a real fire, you know what to do. I learned that what 
what you have to do when there's a fire like in your apartment or in your house. First, you, you try to wake an adult up so they can probably help. And then they should call the f fire department. That, but you should know your address, too. I want you to be on your best behavior around a candle. Here's what I want you to remember. A candle is a small fire that can get very big. One more thing. What do we call these? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Young man, what do we call these? Matches. Matches. Matches the same thing. If you see matches, do not touch them. Oh, I really think it should be mandatory because that way not only the kids that were able to benefit today will benefit from it, but the entire school will benefit. And if we do it on a regular basis, it's something that's going to be in their mind all the time, not just today or tomorrow. So in New York, although firefighting is for the professionals, fire prevention is for everyone. So that's fire, but what about water? Irresponsible action by humans can threaten marine life, which can then have consequences for us all. But raising awareness about preserving habitats isn't always enough. In Italy, one project is also offering research services and marine biology training. Let's find out more. The Hydra Institute in Italy teaches marine biology and trains the researchers of tomorrow to explore the mysteries of the deep. The Hydra Institute for Marine Sciences was founded almost 20 years ago here at the island of Elba in Italy to have access to pristine waters of the Mediterranean and to give the chance to students from all over the world to learn underwater and in the classroom here on this island. This means that marine biology students studying at institutes far from the sea can get practical experience and see living creatures and habitats that they've only seen on a screen before. here around about 12, 15,000 students coming to our research field station and some of them had their first experience with marine science and return now, 15 years later, as a professor with their own students. from Germany at the University of Bayreuth and I'm studying biology, finished my bachelor thesis now and um, yeah in my university I always get to know about terrestrial ecosystem but I want to get also the overview with uh, the connection to marine uh, ecosystem and I think that's also something for the future. The biggest advantage to be here on the island of Elva is to have the direct contact to the natural environment. And this is a great opportunity which we do not have in Darmstadt. The second aspect for the students to be here is they will become teachers. And it's also essential to have access not only to the classroom, also to the real biology environment and to make biology in the nature. One of the most important programs here is the conservation of the marine habitat, which is seriously threatened by pollution. Researching new biodegradable plastics is therefore an obvious step forward. Finally, what are your thoughts on air, fire and water? Have you ever had an interesting experience with the natural elements? Do share your ideas on our social media pages. We love hearing from you. Goodbye for now. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.